sending the excavator inside for the first time is completely remote operated. This is the first time we're really breaching the interior. We've done a lot of work around the exterior over the last couple of years and months, so there's a lot of steel up in places to stabilise the building. At the moment, the interior still has some hazards in there, and this is the best approach that we can do for safety. We've got Vaughan, who's operating the digger. He's operating a 14-ton digger remotely inside in the main cathedral. Um, and in this, inside in that cabin, he's got a number of uh, cameras, six in total, that, um, that are on the digger, um, and he's able to, to see spatially where the digger sits inside in the cathedral. Um, and he's got a joystick, and he's, he's sitting in there operating that digger. Hopefully some of these, um, like the font and some Bibles and keystones and, and whatnot will come out of the have come out of the church. Um, they'll be sorted, they'll be cleaned and they'll be stored for a number of years and then they'll get rebuilt um, in due course. We're using a remote control digger in this instance because the the structural strength of the building is deemed unsuitable to put people in there. And then the secondary risk is the um, I guess the pigeons that have been living in there for the past 11 years have created quite a mess and when that mess is disturbed, if it's inhaled, it can be quite toxic. Those two major risks put together um, made the remote control digger make sense for the cathedral.